Welcome to Harvest Key, Norwegian Cruise Line's very own private island in Belize. This is a beautiful island paradise, made even more pleasurable as we pretty much have the place to ourselves. Once your ship is docked, there is a covered walkway which takes you to the island itself. Once through customs, you can check in for your excursions or you can carry on into the island itself. There are excursions available to the mainland, but we decided that we were going to have a relaxing day. The village area has plenty of shops so you can go and buy your souvenirs, gifts and jewellery. Now this is what I really came to see, a white sandy beach and the Caribbean Sea. I would advise wearing water shoes when in the sea as it's a little bit rocky in there. It was great to see the people far braver than me on the zip line overhead. Other things for the more adventurous to do are found on the lagoon side of the island. This is a place for the water sports such as kayaking, sand up paddleboarding and electric float boats. This is the splash pad area which is a great place for younger cruisers to hang out. As there weren't many on our ship, I decided to take the opportunity and have some fun for myself. Fewer than 700 passengers on our ship, you can pretty much choose wherever you like to sit. The only drawback is that there wasn't actually many places open to go and get some food, so we headed back to the main area. There was also lots of seating around by the pool area. Something to be aware of is that any food and drink packages you have aboard your Norwegian Cruise Line ship don't apply on the island. So make sure you take your credit card and or cash for any purchases while you're there. And make sure your cards are either Visa or MasterCard as the island doesn't take American Express. The food and drink were competitively priced and I would say a little cheaper than they were in Miami. and there is a bar and the pool here is zero entry which is ideal for kids. However, I decided to get a cocktail at the other end of the pool at the swim up bar.
This is the Harvest Key Bar and Grill, which is the main restaurant on the island. It was previously called the Lamb Shark Bar and Grill in association with Jimmy Buffett. I actually spent quite a long time in the pool. It was absolutely amazing to have it for myself. It was nice to hear that local policians actually run the shops on the island. Next on our list of things to do was to go and see the wildlife experience. First up was the butterfly house. and then to see a green iguana. Then it was on to see the birds. I didn't actually think I was going to find this sign. It had been eluding me all day. It was getting towards the end of our time on the island, so we decided to head back towards the ship. After a long and very tiring day, we decided to take the golf cart back. this video please like and subscribe so you can see more of my adventures